a little weird. All right, this is going to be just a little bit weird. I'm going to tell you right now. So one of my projects, I'm going to call this one... A, well, let me go to my clipboard. A su there we go. And then uh, with this, I use a DSLR, a Canon 60D. And so I choose that. And then it, I do record at 30 frames per second. So I'll just press OK. And then on here, I'm going to go to my files or my desktop here. And I'm going to take them and move them over here and then I sort them like that go down here this makes them put them in my little sequence and then I take this and I stretch it out so I know where my audio is and then I just go through and like for my intro, I'll move that over, drag my intro into my timeline here, ripple delete, ripple delete, and then for here I'll just uh, add a transition about right here. And then center at cut. Oh, see, I need to. Okay. So now I'll do that again. I'll center at cut. And. Sweet. Okay, so it's putting the audio out through. my speakers so I'm trying to f figure out okay yeah I don't know why it's throwing that audio through man I don't, I don't know <laughs> I don't know so Okay, whatever. So yeah, I just literally like sit there and go, okay, that can be cut out. That can be cut out. Maybe like right here I said something but messed up. I can re-say what I needed to say, and then this was the correct part, so I just cut out what I messed up messed up on, and if I do need to do a voiceover, it's actually pretty easy. I'll just click on the audio. I will go to Audio Mixer. I will mute the first track, which is the voice thing, and then I'll record. Uh, to fix that, I just go to um, Edit, Preferences, Audio Hardware, and then IO settings, and I'll choose my USB chat headset that I'm using right now, and then I'll just press OK. And now, um, say for example, right here, it's starting up, and it's there's not any audio. I can just go up here and press record and mute. Hit this little button, and then I'll do I'll. You're going to hear, well, dang, you're going to hear it twice. Okay, maybe you're not. Let me try this, all right? All right, play. Okay, so now I'm, I'm looking at it. It says swipe in from any edge, and we're waiting for the device to finish. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do it or if it does it for me. I have no clue. Well, we'll find out here in just a little bit. Sorry, right, so now I'm going to go ahead and hit play, and it's going to stop putting my voice into there. All right, so now I can unmute the, fir the the tracks, go back, and if I drag this down, sweet. So it did get my voice in there. I can zoom in on that, 
And then let me turn my speakers up so you can hear the speakers on the computer. Says swipe in from any edge, and we're waiting for finish. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do it or if it does it for me. Hit play, and it's going to stop. All right, it's pretty cool stuff, huh? I'm going to go ahead and save that. What I what I typically do, I'm going to go ahead and end this soon, I promise. What I typically do is I open up Audacity, and I can't find it in my recent things, so I'll just open it from here, and... I'll bring her to my second monitor. Anyway, so I go in here and I can choose like, um, right now I don't have my meteor. I usually use my meteor mic. Right now I'm using my PlayStation 3 headset. So I can use the USB chat headset and I can click right here to monitor that. Okay, so the levels aren't too high. So I can go ahead and just like, hey, this is what would Josh do? This is my video on the Asus X202E and check it. Yeah, that's it. And then in here, I can just like, hey, this is I could just go through here, zoom in, get the audio times bigger. And then like right here, there's a little gap. So I can delete that, delete that, and then cut off the edge. And oh, come on. Anyways, so yeah, so I could just do export. And then I can do like desktop and then I can find the folder that I'm using. And I just like the first clip, I just choose one and then I hit OK. And then it puts it into there so I can go ahead and just close that out without saving it. And then on my desktop in that folder, there's this file right here. Just drag it into Adobe and then put it down here in the timeline. And then go this, expand it and check that out. Hey, this is What Would Josh Do? This is my video on the Asus X202E, and check it. Yeah, that's it. I like that method because I get to, uh, like, like fine-tune the audio. Because, like, right here, I can I can also zoom in, and it's just, it's, it's a little bit harder and cumbersome, I guess. So, like... I don't know. I just like using Audacity better. So I'm going to go ahead and back that out. Get that out of there. Save my... Minimize this. I'm going to edit this tomorrow and get it out there. Because it's a pretty freaking awesome little laptop. But yeah, see? This is my second monitor. I can take anything I want and drag it over there. And, you know... <laughs> it's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. That was just kind of like how I edit my videos. And it 